saying why am i levitating on this floating window so that's because i'm working as your transcript uh what ritu means to say is that her dreams have shattered into a million pieces because pubg might be banned will be banned shall be banned who knows right she feels that her life has been thrown into this bottomless pit uh she feels that her reflexes which were faster than lightning are of no use anymore since she cannot play pubg hi everybody once again welcome to our channel tidbits of lits and the act that you just saw was about hyperbole right now what is hyperbole uh hyperbole is an exaggeration okay or it's a bold overstatement okay um you know if you look at the examples you will find that some of them are not even possible uh so it's how we exaggerate stuff right uh for example i am so hungry i could eat a horse which i possibly cannot uh but then again you know it adds a comic or an ironic tone to whatever i am saying uh another another example uh, would be uh, it was so cold out there that i saw polar bears wearing hats and jackets okay so stay tuned for the next one i'm going to make a call to them how can they do this wow now it is not even ringing ring 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 hello hello yeah i wanted to speak regarding this order that i had uh, Yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk about that order. Yes, mm, the order number is two two five four. I think there has been a deliberate mistake. A deliberate mistake, I tell you. No, 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 no. I don't remember forgetting that I said that I wanted the blue vase. No, no other color would do. How can you give me another vase? You cannot give me another vase. It will still have the same difference. I tell you, oh my God, you're not even making sense. Rubbish. So the next figure of speech that we are going to talk about today is an oxymoron. Even in our act, you must have noticed a few phrases: remember, forgetting, deliberate, mistake, same difference. So basically, oxymoron is a figure of speech where we pair up two words which are contradictory in meaning. For example, we can say a silent roar. clearly confused random order so basically bringing together two words which if placed together have two very different meanings but if we put them together it forms an oxymoron it also has a kind of a comic effect and that's all we'll move on to the next tag ritu was really really sad and somehow nature played along she was sad and along with her it seemed as if nature also participated in the same kind of sadness and nature was also sad so pathetic fallacy is a figure of speech where the human emotions are attributed to the natural aspects okay the elements of nature like sun or wind or sky for example we can say a cruel wind or the angry tornado now that uh, makes it a little confusing right because uh, it seems quite similar to personification now in case of personification you can attribute human emotions actions or characteristics to na natural objects and also man made objects or abstract ideas for example if you remember the act we had in our first video where exams were knocking at the door right so exam has nothing to do with nature but in case of pathetic fallacy we focus on the elements of nature 
So that's pathetic fallacy guys. It's a similar concept to personification but it also has a slight difference. All of you already know how great friends uh, I and Shreyoshi are and she is an excellent friend one can have. She is intelligent, she is witty, she'll always help you when you need her. But there is a secret which nobody knows. There is this weird wordplay that she has on her mind and she keeps playing with words. It gets really on your nerves. It really gets on your nerves. Okay. And uh, see, you will not understand it unless I give you examples. So here are a few examples. example of pun. What's a pun? A pun is a wordplay. Uh, so it's basically a play on words which are identical in sound or very similar in sound. Okay, but they are diverse in meaning. And this diversity or difference in their meaning is from where we get the comical effect. Uh, so for example, Hey, see my cat over there near the computer? He's keeping a watch on the mouse. <laughs> okay, so, uh, or maybe, mm, okay, now that I have got a graph paper, it's, uh, it's time to plot something. Got it? I hope you liked the content. And if you really liked it, please do like, subscribe and share. And uh, comment below, right? And tell us what you liked or did not like about the act. Okay, and? And also, this is the last segment to our figures of speech uh, portion that we have been covering in our videos. We have got a lot of recommendations and uh, suggestions for stories. And we'll come back to that. And till then, keep sharing this video. Thank you. Bye.